okay our next topic is inheritance third article in inheritance okay the figure of this our article is a class
fulfill of the what is the need of a class okay so we can just simple do super okay pass some value like uh, i just pass 10 and 5 okay call to a x y a Okay. It's compulsory. Must need must compulsory. If we don't put this line, the program gives some errors. Okay. It's very basic uh, structure of the constructor. Okay. Now I create object of create a C class object. Okay. What is the need of C class? Three parameter. Okay, we need a three parameter here. Okay, so we have to fulfill the three parameter from main class. We can also put the runtime value on here. I just now I just put manually. Now this call to calling to Class. Okay. When we reach at this location, okay. When we reach at this location, we see the relation of C and A class. Okay. So first of all, we have to fulfill the need of A class. The need of A class is okay. The need of two classes, two parameter. Okay. We have to pass two value in. You can also use the variable of x, y, and z. Okay, you can also change the value from here. Anything, what you want? Call to a constant. Got it? Any doubt? You hear it? First of all, we just see some fifteen means when we call this function, sorry, constructor. Okay, we reach at this location. Okay, we find this super, this super ten five call to the super class constructor, and we pass ten and five to x and y. The solution of x and y. Then we see. This statement in output state welcoming B class, okay, welcoming B class, okay. and then we create object of C class with two parameter arguments. Okay, here now we pass x and twelve. What is the value of x? Is seven. Okay, we pass seven and twelve into here. The summation of seven and twelve is nineteen. Then we back in the C constructor and we multiply the value of seven, six, and nine. Multiplication of seven, six, and nine. Find the value is three seventy eight. Got it? Very simple. Quite easy.